how do we as governments make sure that financing does not become an impediment to unlocking our potential? How do we bring down the cost of finance? How do we get the correct model? We've had discussions in Kenya, and we were told as policymakers, number one, you need to borrow less as government. We said, yes, we are going to borrow less as government. But the private sector, too, and especially ministers of finance, governors of central banks, and I've seen many of them here, they should take a much more assertive role in making sure that there is a clearer and a much more transformative environment and framework that facilitate lower interest rates because that way we can mainstream and bring on board more investors, more farmers, more entrepreneurs to be able to carry out and to help us facilitate economic growth. In our blueprint, we want to bring one million acres working with the private sector to produce and expand our food production. We believe that in five to seven years, we should be able to export five million tons of grain from Kenya. The process has already started. In one of the biggest ranches that we have, we will take half of that facility, use modern technology, bring the private sector on board. Instead of one acre, two acres, five acres, 20 acres, we will work with the private sector entrepreneurs that can do 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 acres and produce in a manner that we tap into the economies of scale, use modern um, technology, use mechanization, get the tractors, the combined harvesters, the ones that you are talking about that are air conditioned so that we can actually practice the kind of agriculture that is going to get Africa out of hunger and poverty. Today, in Kenya, a smallholder farmer produces 15, 18, 90 kilogram bag of maize on an acre. A farmer using irrigation on the other on the other on the other hand will produce between 80 and 90 kilogram bags of maize on an acre in other words a small holder farmer will produce a fifth of what a commercial farmer under irrigation would produce. The statistics, therefore, is easy to understand. It doesn't require a lot of calculation. 18 bags and 80 bags is a world of a difference. That is why we have chosen, as policymakers in Kenya, that beginning this year, we are progressively transiting, bringing more land under irrigation for food production 